Hi, I'm Brian Bruckner, owner of Big Swing and Cycles, and I wanted to share with you uh, the new Bionics Electric Assist Conversion Kit for your bicycle today. The uh, Bionics system consists of three distinct parts here, four distinct parts rather. Uh, an electric motor, which is mounted in your rear wheel. It's either 350 or 250 watts. A lithium rechargeable battery. And a CAN bus uh, microprocessor controller as well as a remote throttle and, uh, and control mechanism. So this is Bionics' lithium frame battery. Um, it can be removed by simply pulling the handle here and lifting up nice and easy. And put it back in opposite fashion. Um, you can see it's got a little lock right here if we want to lock it on. Just simply click that in and uh, it's secured to the frame. It's also got a charging port down here so we can plug our charger into the battery either on the bike or off the bike, whatever's easiest for you. And uh, it's fairly lightweight. The bat a lot of people are worried about battery weight. It's a question you often get. Uh, most of your weight in the system is really in the motor, not in the battery. This is Bionics's rear wheel motor. You can see it's basically a, a hub uh, with a motor built into it. This happens to be the 350 watt uh, SL system, the little bit lighter system. There's also a 250 watt version as well. I don't recommend that for a lot of the terrain we have here in the Bay Area. It's very hilly and the extra power that the 350 watt system provides is really, I think, necessary for most people. You can see that it's got mounts for a six bolt rotor. So if your bike runs a disc brake, um, Bionics can accommodate you and you can use it uh, like on this bike with a simple rim brake as well. Um, so when we're talking about electric bikes and electric bike conversion kits, um, a word of warning, there's a lot of people making systems right now. We find that the Bionic system really is substantially better than anything else on the market. Um, we became a Bionics dealer and, and, and didn't take that decision lightly. We did a lot of vetting in the company and a lot of due diligence before we settled on Bionics. And we've installed scores of systems and have really good experience with the product and the company. Um, the reason we feel it's the best kit out there, um, one, it's, it's supported by a network of, of trained certified dealers like ourselves. So there's someone to turn to um, for installation as well as for service after the sale. Um, it's backed by not only Bionics, but Bionics' parent company, a company called Magna Automotive. It's a $100 million company that's about 70 years old, um, manufacturer of various automotive parts. So they've got some deep pockets to, to support this product for the long term. Um, the other nice thing, it's, it's actually a product that's made here in North America, in Canada, um, in Aurora, Ontario. Um, and if you just take a quick look at the system, you know, it's a really nice product, industrial grade, electrical connectors, really nice injection moldings on the battery case, really nice controller. We'll show you some close-ups of this in just a moment. So it's a really solid system. You know, some other reasons we think this is the, the best system on the market, um, it's, it's definitely the easiest system to operate and use. Um, it's not complex, doesn't require any special knowledge, it's basically get on and go. Um, it's upgradable and serviceable uh, in the field. Um, you can actually bring it into a Bionics dealer, we can plug it into our computer and uh, get a snapshot of the whole system and even send that information to Bionics in Canada and get troubleshooting or technical assistance or upgrade assistance uh, direct from the Bionics factory. Uh, and additionally, there's lots of cool accessories that you can power off of this battery. So say you want a nice high-powered light, uh, you can run that off the battery, same for a tail light. Uh, can even charge uh, an iPhone or, or an Android phone with it. So uh, let's talk about now how the Bionic system works. It's real easy to operate. Um, you've got a control module here as well as a remote uh, throttle and a positive minus button over here on the right hand side. So to turn our system on it's real simple. We just touch any button. We'll hear a beep and then we'll see a countdown here on the screen. And when it, finish counts, counting, when it finishes counting down, we're all ready to go. So there's a few things on the console we can look at here. Um, we've got a couple of gauges here. Um, we've got an on-off button. We've got a reset or chrono button here. We've got our plus and minus buttons here to uh, adjust our level of assistance. 
and we've got a little odometer function and speedometer function at the bottom as well as a battery gauge right here. On this side you see we've got a little remote uh, throttle and plus minus button which is real handy so we don't have to uh, take our hand off the bar to make adjustments to the level of assistance or uh, generation that we want to get out of the system. So once the system's on, um, usually the first thing we'll do is determine how much assistance we want. And uh, we've got four levels of assistance. We can hit the plus key here, and you see the little A turn on over here, meaning we've got assistance. We've got 25%, 50 75 or 150% assistance. We can also use our remote throttle button over here to adjust that as well. Uh, if we hit the minus key, we start backing off on our assistance little bike icon shows up showing that it's just a bike now there's no assistance if we keep going negative you see a G pop up here that means we're in generator mode so now we turn the motor into effectively a brake that generates power for the battery and we've got four levels of assistance there that can come in handy on long descents or long downhills uh, makes it easier on the braking uh, for, the, for the operator and it puts power back into the battery so to operate the system, uh, we, we simply select our assistance level and we start pedaling um, and Bionics does the rest. It's got a very clever torque sensor in the rear motor that senses how much effort we're putting out and um, anytime we, we, it senses we're putting out more than say the, the level of walking, it's going to kick in and provide you a nice little bump to keep you moving. So I mentioned that there is this throttle mechanism right here. You can actually just hit the throttle and have the bionics kick in and give you power. Say you're going up a hill and it's giving you assistance, but maybe you just don't feel like pedaling. Well, you can just hit the throttle. Now, the throttle is not going to work if the bike's uh, at a stationary position, at a stoplight or something. I can hit it right here. You can see nothing happens. But if the wheel is spinning, we give it a little spin. Now I hit the throttle, and you can see it kicks the rear motor into gear. So that feature works when the bike is in motion. I mentioned the, the regenerative braking feature that Bionics has that can be activated by hitting our minus key and going into the G or generate mode. Um, that mode's also activated anytime we grab the rear brake. So uh, for instance, if I grab the rear brake, you're going to see the A go off and the G come on. So I'll cycle it a few times to show you how that works. So that's a clever feature that Bionics has, uh, the regenerative braking feature. So uh, a big question a lot of people ask is, is uh, how often do I need to charge it? How much range do I get out of the battery? Um, generally, the range of the battery, depending on the system that you have and how you use it, is about 30 to 60 miles. Um, we recommend that you charge the battery anytime it's 50% or lower um, of its uh, current charge. So if you look at the battery gauge on the control module, it's 50% or below that, it's a good time to put it on the charger. Um, to charge the Bionics, it's very simple. Um, we basically have a, uh, a charger that one end plugs into the wall and the other end plugs right into the side of the battery and uh, you're good to go for charging. Um, it's best to charge it after it's cooled down. If you've been using the, the Bionics uh, uh, to commute perhaps or run some errands, when you get home you want to let the battery cool down for half an hour or so, then put it on the charger. Um, typically takes four and a half to five hours to get to a full charge. So you're probably thinking, how well does this thing work? Well, it works really, really well um, on flat ground uh, and on hills. And a lot of people ask, well, you know, can this thing really climb hills? This thing torches hills. So what's next? Well, um, if you're interested in the system, uh, I would suggest come on down, ride this bike, check it out for yourself firsthand. I think you'll be really impressed. Most people that come and ride it are. Um, if you've already decided uh, that you want a Bionics, um, come on down and, and we'd recommend that you buy it from us. Uh, we have over a decade's worth of experience um, with e-bikes, uh, both servicing and installation. Our shop's been around for 12 years. Myself and my staff are all certified trained Bionics technicians. Um, we always offer a year's free service with any, uh, any bike and Bionics that you buy uh, from our shop. And it gives you a chance to support a local business. So thanks for watching and we hope to see you soon down here at Big Swing Insight.